Hey there, crazy kids! I am the Good Old Gamer, and welcome back to the Secret World. And I am a noob, a newbie, if you will, in the Secret World. Um, previous video, we hit a bit of a roadblock, and I became a little bit more than frustrated, and I apologize for that. But uh, since that video, I uh, have done a bit of research on the forums. I came across a thread from another user who apparently um, discovered the same problem back in. June, I think it was, so about a month ago or so. And uh, anyway, they they did they uh, came across the same problem where they did their weapons training, you know, upgraded their skill points and uh, ability points, and then logged out, you know, just quit the game to go do something else, and then they came back later and they got stuck, just like we did here. Um, and their solution, oddly enough, was just to apparently wait for a little while. Uh, and try to log back in and then they were able to continue on with the quest and stuff so I'm not sure if it's just a matter of the server having to sort itself out or whatever um, but I thought we would go ahead and try it again here it's been about a day it's been probably close to if not 24 hours by now so maybe things are sorted out maybe we can go in there and um, see about that we do have a good sign here in that here on the character screen, my character, as you can see, has his pistols. So I'm curious to know what that may mean. If it's just that the game kept where we left off before, during the previous video, or if it's somehow loaded up what I did before, I don't know. But I thought I would include the video here, starting out with the whole thing. We'll try and get back in there, see where we are, if we can continue the quest or not. And we will try to do whatever we can do to make it work. If it doesn't work, then I will just have to record. I'll just have to create a new character and record up, or I mean, not record, play up to the point of the weapons training again. And then I'll make a new video from that point. And we'll just continue the series from that. And from there, that's the only other option really I got. Um, but I want to keep playing the secret world I am interested in it I am invested in it and uh, like I said I do apologize for the <laughs> rather frustrated tones that I had in the previous video but um, you know it was kind of a game-breaking bug and that was the sort of bug that was out of my control so I was a little bit frustrated but like I said I've done some research and I've had time to uh, think things over and meditate and stuff and I think uh, we'll see where we can go from here so let's just go ahead and Log into the game here. Alright, so here we are. We don't have our weapons, it looks like. Um, so when we load it in here, the game apparently reset back to normal, I'm guessing. Um, I mean, back to just beginning the quest. So let's see. Uh, select your weapon carefully and when you're done return to the office uh, choose a weapon and test your skills okay so we'll do this step by step by step that was one of the suggestions I got from feedback on the previous video in the comment section is to do the steps exactly step by step um, apparently I may have in my frustration the previous video may have missed a step or two um, and I want to I want to make sure we've got this all covered and we're doing everything we can to keep this going so let's see blah 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 choose a weapon and test your skills okay so it's gonna have us pick a weapon we're gonna go with our pistols um, before we do this let's make sure our inventory is clear and our characters clear we don't have anything so we'll select pistols. And it's telling us to equip our weapon and stuff. The guy's still not talking, so that's not necessarily a good sign. But we may still be able to uh, push through the quest regardless. Um, that may be a separate bug entirely, I don't know. Anyways, let's do what it says. It, it wants us to equip this, I believe. Pick up the pistols to begin your training. Find the dual pistols in your inventory and equip them. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we can either drag it down like I've done before, or we can shift and right click. 
and that equips it and that changes the quest all right so we've equipped it now once they're equipped head to the shooting range and target a practice demon you can target either by left clicking or by pressing the tab key so we're going to be doing all of this that we've done before as i've shown you before how to do all this we'll go over here find a demon and we should be able to target it Oh, that maybe that's the 15 mark. Let's go here. That's weird. Well, it is targeted, so let's see. Um, now that we've done that, use the business on a practice demon. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to try using the business, but it's grayed out, so I don't know if we're going to be able to. We've got our pistols equipped. Let's see. One. Okay, there. We were able to do it. The game finally recognized that we have our guns. Um, now that you've built pistol resources on your target, use the ability shootout to consume them. The key to successful pistol combat is building resources on a target, then exploiting them for powerful effects. Use shootout on a practice demon. This is shootout. And our quest is complete. It says return to the brig to the whatever brigadier when you have found your desired weapon. So we've we want the uh, the pistols. So we'll return to the demon, or uh, the demon, <laughs> the brigadier. Have you finished choosing your first weapon? Yes. Choose a second weapon and complete your weapons training. Okay, so we're so far it's working. Fingers crossed, guys. Hope you're crossing your fingers with me as you're watching this. Even though I'll know by the time you watch this whether it worked or not, but still, cross your fingers. I'm counting on you in the future to do this. Okay, let's time travel, future connect, okay? Cross your fingers. Uh, we're going to choose the blades. Okay, we have our blades. And we've gotten this second thing about the resources and stuff. Now we're continuing to follow the quest here. We'll go back to this. Strike a target with your melee consumer ability. Okay, so we'll go over here. We'll target one of these guys. And we'll use the consumer, which in this case is number four. This is all of what we've done before. Now, refill your resources for both weapons using a builder ability. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use the builder, which is number three. Use the resources again using a consumer ability. So we're going to use the consumer ability. That completes that quest. And now it's just a matter of returning and making a choice. Return to the Brigadier when you're happy with your second weapon. Okay, everything's going good so far. Please, please, please work. Oh! Oh! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have you finished choosing your second weapon? Now the question is, are we going to get our points back? Let's choose yes. Okay, we got our all our points back, so so far everything's good. Um, oh, thank heavens! Um, this guy still hasn't been talking to us, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. We're hopefully we'll get out of here, and then, but when we get out of this room, out of this instance, maybe the game will f finally accept our quest being done. But um, let's upgrade our stuff um, I think last time we chose lick our rune so we'll do that again um, we have to go over here to the panel here and again we're we're for whatever reason it didn't remember our quest or our upgrading but it remembered that we chose Maverick as our deck and it didn't forget that I this game is so weird but we'll uh, pick um, 
lick our wounds because we got that one. And then over here, we only have one ability point left, so I believe we picked a mortal spirit. And that's one of the things for the deck anyway, so let's pick that one. Okay, everything's going good so far. Um, we'll go to the character skills. And we'll go to the blade. And I believe for the blade I chose uh, survivability. Um, whenever an enemy attack glances you, you gain 15% of the damage it dealt back as healing. So we'll go with that. That'll allow us, like I've said before in a previous video, That'll allow us to uh, equip a better weapon if we come across it. Um, and then the pistol, we went with damage because the support deals with drones, the pistol drones, which is an ability we won't get for a little while. Um, so we're going to go with damage instead. One of the feedbacks I received from one of my previous videos when I was showing off the skills and ability wheels and stuff and everything was going good before the, <laughs> before the big bug we hit, um, one of the things, one of the the feedback that I got was recommending that even if you choose one or the other, you know, damage or the second option in your weapons, that you should put at least one point into the other one. Um, and you don't need it in order to equip a higher higher weapon quality weapon or whatever, but it's good to put a point in there because even one point is good, you know. It, like, say for the blade here. I chose survivability, but I should probably put at least one point here in the damage at some point. Um, because it's five extra damage with uh, every attack. So that adds up, you know. You know, um, five attacks, that's 25 extra damage just for a single skill point. And that's a good point. And same with this support here. For the pistol, I don't have a drone yet, but when I do, that's going to heal for two for uh, every second for five seconds. So that's an extra ten healing. Um, for the uh, pistol drone or whatever. So that's good to know. Just because I'm going to focus on these for a while, the ones that I picked here, doesn't mean I'm not going to put some points in there. Because eventually, like I said, if you play this game long enough, you're going to max out everything anyway. So... But it is good to keep that in mind. Even if you focus on one part of your weapon, don't forget the other. You know, put a point or two in there too. So um, that is good. That is a good suggestion. So I thought I'd mention that for everybody watching. Um, yeah, everything's good now. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake and quit and log out while I'm in this area. I'm gonna wait to get out of here. But first, we're gonna see if we can. F um, complete this quest. Now, let's see. Pick up the phone from the table. So that's what we're going to do now. Pick up the phone. Exit the Crucible and return to Sonic's office. So that's what we're going to do here in just a minute. First, if this guy will still talk to us, if he's not totally bugged out, we will uh, talk about his dialogue. From now on, this is the most important room in the world for you. It's a place where you can try out all your newfound power without risk of hurting yourself. With the help of a few props, we've done our best to make the environment as realistic as possible. The demons are tied up, but they bleed the same. You'll find a diverse selection of weapons for you to practice and get comfortable with. Work hard and channel your anima correctly, and you'll find the one that suits you. And if you ever wish to explore other paths, you should return here. That is good advice. You can come back to the training room here at any time. So later on down the road when you want to try out a different weapon, maybe you max out the weapons you currently have and you want to go into other ones, or you just at some point want to try out different combinations or whatever, or maybe even you still have the same weapons you start with but you get a couple of new abilities and you want to test them out before you put them in the real combat to I don't know maybe test out synergies between between them or whatever you can always come back here and do that and speaking of that before we leave I do want to uh, test something out here because I'm curious about something we'll target this guy again 
Um, I just want to know if the builders build for both weapons. So we'll get rid of the consumer here for the melee because melee starts with full resources. And now I'll try the pistol builder. Okay, it does work. As you can see, the resources are building on both the enemy for the pistol resources and the melee resources. And then each consumer is used separately. So that is something to consider. You only need to really have one builder um, in order to build up resources for all your weapons. And then each consumer you can use, it looks like. So we'll, try, we'll test it just again here. I'll get rid of the melee and then we'll do this. Pistol builder, melee builder, pistol builder, melee builder, pistol builder, melee consumer, pistol consumer. So you can mix and match if you want. Um, the builder, it doesn't matter which weapon type it comes from, the builder will build resources for both of your weapons and you can use your consumers individually because if you use like say if i used my melee consumer as we've seen it just gets uh it just uses up the melee resources so if i use the pistol consumer then it just uses up the pistol resources so that, that's something to consider you know and if you're stretched for space in your seven bars seven active bars you really only like i said only need one builder and you can have multiple consumers to make use of those those resources. So just something to keep in mind. And you can test random things out like that. If you want to know something and you don't want to test that out in real combat where you can actually die, you know, just come back here to the 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 practice room here anytime you need to for whatever reason and do it here. I would recommend that you do not log out while you're in here, but <laughs> because it doesn't seem to handle that too terribly well, but maybe it's just because we're on this quest. Maybe it doesn't matter so much when you're not on this quest, but let's head out of here so the game knows that we completed that. Whew, maybe I can finally make it to Kingsmith. Yes, get me out of here. Get me out of this tomb. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling better about this now. We're getting, we're getting back on track, guys. Okay. So we're finally out of there. Our quest tells us to come back here to the office. He's going to give us our first real Templar mission, I guess. The time has come to discuss your upcoming excursion to the colonies. I'm afraid it's business, not pleasure. Recently, a small island community on the New England coast dropped off the map. You can disregard the tiresome government cover-ups. There are dark forces at play. Solomon Island is a rock with infamy. In the past, it was trafficked by the Illuminati before they joined the rush to New York. You should be aware that we have history with the Illuminati, acrimonious history. Of course, under the flag of truce, we have spat and made up, and now we are <laughs> the closest of enemies, all smiles above the table and drawn knives beneath it. Illuminati are reckless and cannot be relied upon to clean up their own messes. We must find the root of whatever doom has come to Solomon Island. But let me stress that this is not a rescue operation. Should there be survivors, you cannot announce that you've been chosen to deliver anyone from evil. Joan of Arc did, and look where that got her. Our goal is the salvation of all mankind, not on a case-by-case -case basis. I understand that may stick in your throat, but, well, halos are fading all over town now that there is so much more at stake. Leave as soon as you can. Your travel arrangements have already been made at the Eldwick Underground. I'll be in touch. All right. Oh, I'm so happy to be out and about again. <laughs> um, yeah. So, we get to go travel to Solomon Island. No point in lingering. 
So let's go do that. I suppose you look like the best of the new batch. It's telling us about our sprint that we've already been using. So now we get to go to the Eldrick Underground. We're going to use the um, Animal Wells, I guess is what they're called, to uh, travel around to get to Solomon Island. Which I believe is supposed to be over off the coast of Maine in the U.S. And of course it's off the coast of Maine. Because this is a sort of gothic sort of um, MMO based on things like Lovecraft and Stephen King and that sort of deal. And Stephen King likes to write a lot about Maine. <laughs> so of course our main, our, our first setting is going to be over by Maine. Um, one other thing that was suggested to me about the the bug that we encountered and stuff is to, uh, oh, that guy has a Tron suit. That means he has every deck in the game. He's probably maxed out in abilities. That guy right there with that weird Tron suit. At least I think that's the Tron suit. I haven't seen it in action, but that's what it looks like as far as I remember. That means he, uh, he has every deck in the game. That's what he was rewarded with for maxing out his abilities. He could have any option he wants. So he's a pretty high level character, I'm guessing. Um... Anyways, one other suggestion I got for the for the bug we encountered in the game is if you're in the middle of that um, and you have weapons selected and stuff and you can't go any farther, is to clear out all your inventory. Drop off your guns, clear out your passives and, uh, and active abilities in the ability wheel. Um, the bars down here, I mean. And uh, try and do it all over again. And that could be a possible solution. Anyways, I'm glad we're going to this thing this underground travel thing because there's this lore over here that I noticed in one of my previous videos I forgot to get. So we'll pick this up on the way. Another thing about the buzzing. Lo hell hello listen you've heard us before our voice a prelude in a bloody nose look You've seen the weird geometry of our scribbling, illuminated mysteries behind the migraine, our apocrypha, apocrypha is written in the plasma blood of your mobile phones. Read us. Okie dokie. Gartha is what that graffiti says, and that's the uh, little fast travel zone in between here and Solomon Island and a bunch of other places, which is what we're going to. Did I ever go down here? I think I did. Yeah, I was down here before. There was a lower over there, I remember that. Alrighty, well... Let's do our first fast traveling. Do I go over here? Yep. Do you want to travel to Agartha? Yes, we do. Yes. Now this is the Hollow Earth, Agartha. I do hope you're not here for the local service. It's running somewhat tardy. And by my watch, it's 100 years overdue at quarter past the hour. Judging from the cut of you, you're more of a world traveler. Well, you've come to the right place. Now, this underground realm, like the great British rail system, is the very model of efficiency. Agartha's thoroughfares sprout from the Tree of Life and connect back to the surface. 
distance and time bend in here. Why, you can cross the globe in a brisk walk. Of course, it's perfectly safe. And no one's entirely sure how it works. Quite bedeviled the science boffins, but I'm assured they have their top men on it. Top men? Now, you'll need one of these. Mind your fingers. Thank you. Fascinating devices. Fortunately, there's still enough to hand out like sweets. Consider it your anchor to the hollow earth. It can return you here in a flash, proverbially and quite literally. Well then, onwards to the New England coast, what? I really enjoy that guy. Um, but it's quite funny, I was watching somebody else play from the Tokyo standpoint. And when they first got in here, they got the exact same cutscene and introduction and the station master and everything. So it was quite a juxtaposition to have someone playing in the Tokyo area and then come in here and get the British guy. <laughs> I mean, I know they do that for simplicity's sake, you know, they don't want to make special different cutscenes for every single faction and stuff, but it it was still funny cuz cuz this British guy here is appropriate for coming out of London, but it's it's such a weird thing to see somebody from like Tokyo do that, but Anyways, um, that's neither here nor there. Um, can I talk to this guy about anything? Nice foot forward, what? Well, I suppose one day my services will no longer be required to man the platforms. Modernization encroaches on us all. Ticket machines, indeed. Good for addition, I don't doubt. Always with the correct change. Yet somewhat lacking in the human touch <laughs> like my thunderous mechanical companions here oh by the way I just remembered um, Mindfiend mentioned to me in one of his feedbacks that uh, he wanted my volume to be up I'm not entirely sure um, you'll have to forgive me I'm not entirely sure if you meant my own microphone commentary or like the game audio so uh, if you could let me know about that, I'll do that in like the next video or the next video after I receive your feedback from this one, um, because I do want to uh, I do want to um, provide that for you. Uh, I can certainly make my volume louder or whatever. I had my microphone in previous videos kind of further away from my mouth, so I'd be a little bit lower um, because I th at first I thought maybe I was coming off too loud, but um, you wanted my feedback to be to be louder so you wouldn't have to turn your volume up so loud on your computer and stuff totally get that and I'm willing to do that and hopefully I move my microphone in this video so hopefully that helps if not let me know and I can adjust my volume um, but anyways and if you mean the game volume if you're if you're not hearing the game volume very well let me know that too um, but yeah let's continue on I, I just remembered that out of the blue sorry oh I doff my cap to them though how many centuries they patrolled these stations alone, who can say? I pride myself on punctuality and dedication, but they are the original article. What faces they must have seen. Many gentlemen explorers, ladies too, have stepped before you into Agatha's honeyed halls. That pleasant Norwegian chap, for one. Arbinson. Yes, you're in fine company. Fine company indeed. Oh, I vouch a ticket machine wouldn't tell you that. <laughs> You'll get used to the balmy temperature. It's for the bees. They prefer it. Their honey is remarkable, though the aftertaste... a little like machine oil. Her Majesty once commented favorably on Agatha to me. A work of quite miraculous craftsmanship. I believe to tour it was one of her few joys after Albert passed. <laughs> well, try not to approach all this as something unnatural. It may not follow the uh, accepted theories of the Earth's consistency. 
I assure you, though, it is very much a part of our world. Over the years, these halls have expanded and contracted with the growth of the tree. Like breathing, I expect. Fresh branches find their way to the surface, to many different surfaces. That's probably a mild explanation for the expansions, or what in this game they call issues, um, that tend to bring in new content, new places to go to, and that sort of thing. The older growth, further down, leads to other places in other times. Stacked like those Russian dolls that were all the rage in Paris. Why, I encountered myself as a young man once. <laughs> Curious thing. Topside speaking, I admit to falling a touch behind the times. Out of date. Well, you understand, though, a massive flora mechanical network won't run itself. One always finds something needing doing down here. I'm certainly more of a groundsman than an engineer. And were we vanished from the world, perish the thought, Agatha would still perpetuate. A golden age without tarnish. <sighs> I say without tarnish, but in confidence, troubling events are afoot. Tremors like a distant thunder, outpourings of an horrific black water. I believe it gathers far beneath us in great reservoirs. And yet I haven't the nerve to put that theorem to the test. Well, listen to me go on about the rot in the tree of life. You have so many pressing cloak and dagger affairs to see to up there in the world of man. I shouldn't think there's anything to worry about. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. So, uh, he mentions that he thinks the... Maybe the filth is rot from the Tree of Life? That's an interesting idea. I don't know if that's exactly what he meant. I'm just conjecturing from what he said, but... It sounds like it to me. Anyways, this... Apparently we can talk to these big robot things, so... Is this like a tour thing? They're all locations. Oh, it's directions. Oh, you hid that way to go there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, apparently that's the way to Kingsmith. Next foot forward, what? All right, there's some lore there. Trick is, can I get to it? Yep, looks like I can. More about the buzzing. You've heard shards of our voice in the phantom radio code of a, of a number station, in the roar of a crowd, in the screams of your clock, in the scrape of a chalkboard, in the snow static of a TV, in the chainsaw disciple mating of cicadas? In the urban mythos that spreads amongst children like contagion, in the silence between lies, white noise becomes a cadence, words develop self-awareness, viral, evolving, living poetry, sentient language. Okay, that's cool. So the buzzing is everywhere, apparently. And I believe we can hop right into this little vortex thing and that will auto move us to the entrance to the Kingsmith deal. So we're gonna test this out and see. But I believe that's what we can do. Uh, we could also walk there ourselves if we really wanted to, but I have no idea where I'm going, so I'm gonna use a fast travel option, I guess, for now. We'll try that stuff out later. Whee! here we are and entrance to Kingsmith town this is where we are wanting to go we're gonna go ahead and check out this lore first more about the buzzing you can even hear the buzzing the 
we see you. There is no turning back. Who are we? It depends on who is looking. Initiate King, King James Protocol. The code is 24 and 13 and 14. The password is Proverbs. Transmit. My child, eat thou honey because it is good. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. Okay, so now, by the way, you can look up in the browser, Google uh, a Bible translation of the Proverbs 24, 13, and 14, um, chapter 24, verse 13 and 14, and you can get that same thing that was at the end of that. Uh, eat the honey and it's good and all that. Uh, let's travel to Kingsmith. There's a lot of hidden messages like that. Um, not necessarily for that particular lore, uh, but various investigation quests and that sort of thing will have you looking into the in-game web browser and looking up various sort of cryptic codes and stuff like that. So that's just something you can do if you want to. And here we've traveled to Kingsmith. And Kingsmith, the animal well here, is right here in this old, apparently, Viking boat. And I believe there's something about that. I think it's some lore or something about that. Maybe some history about it. I don't know. Oh, and we get to send a report already. That's interesting. What is this? Become initiated into your faction. Okay, so by actually coming here and fulfilling that quest, We've become initiated, so let's send the report. This is how you finish off quests. You don't have to go back to your quest giver. You just send a report back to the Templars. You made it through Agartha. That's good. One of our best cartographers once set out to map the infrastructure. When we found him seven years later, he was naked, filthy, and babbling in a notion. Needless to say, we never attempted that particular experiment again. <laughs> I bet not. So we get some experience, and we get whatever this is. This is a head talisman. This is our first gear, first equipment besides weaponry. And uh, it's plus 75 health, so it gives us 75 extra health, and plus 56 attack rating. So that's cool. Um, I think think we'll be able to equip it let's see yeah it's a gl zero or not gl ql zero quality level zero so we should be able to uh, equip it without even having any sort of skill points in it when we get a quality level one we'll need to put a skill point into whichever particular talisman that happens to be b get it an unintentional pun whatever we'll collect that and we'll go into our inventory, we'll bring up our character sheet. And this is the Argatha Conduit. This thing you can use, I think it's every half hour or something. And if you use it, you can teleport back to Agartha from anywhere in the world, anywhere in the game. It's the way to use fast travel. It, I think it costs a certain amount of money to do it, maybe? Or am I mistaken I don't know one of the fast travel deals costs like 150 of the in-game currency to use I'm not sure if it's this one or a different one but um, you can fast travel from anywhere once every like half hour I think mine being said so that's something to keep in mind or you can do it for free if you find an animal well you just have to go back to one of the animal wells you discovered and you can fast travel from there um, anyways we'll equip this head talisman and now we've got plus 75 health and plus 56 attack rating um, above whatever we already began with. So let's go ahead and get this lore. Oh, sweetling, once our voice come to you so faintly. No more, now we thunder down the voracious fiber optic key lines that 
fill the world trees limbs stretching here and there and everywhere your anima antenna head quickens the goddess machine pulses creepy um like i said i don't know i don't remember if it's a lore or some sort of quest or something that explains that this is a viking boat boat um Anyways, this is a, this is an animal well here, so we could potentially respawn here if we happen to die real quick. <laughs> I, don't, I hope we don't, but anyways, we're in Solomon Island now. We're get, heading towards Kingsmith Town. We're gonna meet somebody here pretty quick. I'm not sure. I think their cutscene's gonna be coming up here any minute. Um. But actually, what I want to do... Oh, there he is right there. You can see him over at that campfire over there. We're going to be meeting him in just a minute. But actually, we're going to do that in the next video. Because I just wanted to get through the weapons training quest. Get out of there. Get back into the open world here. And we managed to do that. Thank heavens. Um, and so now we can actually continue on with the game. So we'll meet that guy next time and continue on to Kingsmith Town. And actually really truly get started with real quests getting real skills and abilities and real combat and you know we'll 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 get into it and see how crappy i am at a noob facing real not chained up enemies <laughs> i may die i don't know i'm kind of wondering about that anyways um that'll do it for now thanks for watching boys and girls i am the good old gamer and i I'm a secret world noob. Newbie, I should say. I keep forgetting that. Newbie. I just want to say noob, but you know what I mean. Anyways, stay tuned for more next time. Bye-bye. For now.